Hello, my name is Jerry Oltian. I'm an amateur astronomer with far too much time on my hands. A couple years ago, I started grinding a mirror because that's what people do when they become amateur astronomers and you really want to get deeply into the uh, field. And I wound up with a mirror that was very short focal length. It's a uh, f3.8 10 inch mirror. And I decided it would be really fun to do something different with this since most mirrors are considerably longer focal length than that. So I built this telescope. It doesn't look much like a telescope, but it is. It's got the mirror down in the bottom and a secondary mirror bouncing the light over to the eyepiece. So in that regard, it's a traditional Newtonian design telescope. But since it's mounted in a, uh, on a spherical base, one of the nice things about it is instead of the Dobsonian style telescope that only moves in two axes, like this and then around like that, this telescope can be moved in any axis you like. Just rotate it around wherever you like. If the eyepiece is not in a comfortable position, you just rotate it until it is. And the cool thing about this, I call it a trackball telescope because when I let go of it, it tracks the stars. And it does that because of this little axle down here, which uh, I've got it motorized and the axle turns and that turns the ball. And so the ball just ever so gently moves itself along very slowly and tracks the stars as the Earth rotates underneath it. And uh, since it's just a friction mount, you can just push it wherever you like to go. And uh, when you find your object, you just stop pushing and you're tracking. Uh, it's a very nice uh, short focal length, wide field telescope, good for survey work where you're just scanning the skies to see what's interesting out there. Uh, yet, um, uh, the, you know, there's quite a lot of coma in the field of view because of the short focal length. But when you crank up the power, uh, most of that coma goes out beyond the field of view, and um, you get a pretty decent view of planets and uh, nebulae and things like that. Uh, I've had this scope up to about 400 power, and it works pretty well when the atmosphere uh, allows that kind of uh, seeing. Um, the scope itself is hand built. Uh, the base is made with uh, fiberglass that I put over a kid's uh, rubber ball. And then I deflated the ball and took it out of the center, and I can reuse the ball to make more telescopes. The top part here is just a five-gallon bucket with the bottom cut off. Uh, I did buy the focuser and the secondary mirror and the, uh, the spider that holds the secondary on. Uh, the finder, though, is made out of a 35 millimeter film can and an LED down below and a lens to focus it. Uh, your basic reflex style finder, and uh, this white deal here holds a laser pointer that uh, is aimed down the axis of the uh, optics here so that I can use the laser pointer to point the telescope. Uh, All together, I've probably got $300 worth of materials in this and about two years of my time. So there's the trackball telescope.